You're watching WMAR 2 News. People who live in Baltimore's Federal Hill neighborhood saying they're trying to do more to fight crime. Good morning, Maryland. I'm Christian Schaefer. The Federal Hill Neighborhood Association has been collecting surveillance videos of porch pirates and sharing them with police. Now they're looking to add data analysts, social workers and people skilled in the inner workings of Facebook to their group. As a father of four kids choosing to raise my kids in the city, I felt like if I want my neighborhood to be a better place, I've got to be involved. We have more information on that neighborhood association on the website right now, WMAR2news.com. There are a lot of job opportunities if you're looking for one right now. Tomorrow afternoon, Baltimore Ravens hosting a job fair at MT Bank Stadium. They're looking for candidates who can work during the Ravens home games here during the upcoming season. Ravens job fair is tomorrow from 3 to 8. Appointments are not needed, but you can make one if you want to on the team's website. Applicants have to be at least 18 years old and wear a mask. Now, if you're hired through this job fair, you'll get a $100 bonus if you work the Ravens first three games of the regular season. And on Thursday, Baltimore County Public Schools hosting a job fair as well, looking for teachers for several subjects, along with library media specialists, occupational therapists, nurses, substitute teachers, much more. If you're interested, you do need to apply online before the fair. It's from 5 to 7 tomorrow night at the George Washington Carver Center for Arts and Technology. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Good morning, Maryland. Temperatures this afternoon top out in the mid 80s, so we are going to feel slightly milder than we were yesterday. And our dew point values are going to stay in check as well. Uh, high pressure is going to be in control, so not only is that going to keep us mainly dry throughout the day, it's also going to help us uh, deal with that bright sunshine throughout the later parts of the afternoon and into the early evening hours. And those warmer temperatures today are kind of deal or kind of because of that southerly wind flow around 8 to 18 miles per hour, and winds are going to pick up a little bit more as we head into your Wednesday as we do uh, have a cold front that's going to be sliding through. That's going to bring the potential for a few damaging wind gusts and even the potential for some flash flooding. So periods of heavier rainfall uh, could be the case within some of those stronger storms. So pay attention for tomorrow. Keep checking radar and keep an eye to the sky and looking a little bit cooler on the back side of that frontal boundary for Thursday and Friday into the upcoming weekend. Very pleasant with mostly sunny skies. Meteorologist Stevie Daniels, thanks very much. Stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news and weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.